Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today I am currently at Chuckwalla Valley Speedway in Desert Center, California. This is one of my all time favorite tracks other than Laguna Seca. The facility here is really nice. As you can see, they have these uh, killer garages that you can rent. Here's a little nice cart track. And then the track is obviously back there. They have really nice, uh, obviously, you know, ground and asphalt and they have really nice bathrooms in the back with showers. So that's really cool. I am here with Club Racer. They are putting on this event. It's a uh, collaboration with a couple other brands, Coyo Rad, NDF, Doghouse, um, along with VTech Club. Obviously, I don't have a car with VTech, but there's a lot of other cars here, but mm, probably 75 to 85% here are Hondas. So I'm gonna have my uh, work cut out for me to try to keep up with some of these uh, fast uh, front wheel drive and rear wheel drive Hondas. But um, as far as the car, haven't done much since the last track day. Uh, I raised the passenger rear because I was rubbing pretty bad. Bled the clutch. It's still kind of iffy. Um, I think I need to get under and actually adjust the rod on the actual clutch um, pedal. I also did the um, the master cylinder up front as well for the uh, the clutch. Not really much else. It's a really low maintenance car. Oil's still good. My coolants, everything's really good. That's why I really like about Miatas. They're really low maintenance, uh, especially if you're just daily driving or your track racing. So really the only thing I'm gonna be going through uh, con consecutively is uh, brakes and tires. So thankfully not too hot today. I think the hottest it's gonna be is about 93 degrees, which is bearable for me for sure. Uh, there's about 120 people registered today and then there's probably another 120 tomorrow. I'm not racing tomorrow, I just wanted to race today. So. Also, I wanted to make the car a little bit louder so I was able to remove the, uh, the rear muffler and I uh, got it turned down, welded up. So I wanted you guys to hear that real quick. All right, this is my first session out and this is I think my second lap. And I just turned a 205 right there off of the aim. And I was super stoked because coming into this weekend, this is what I, I wanted was a 205. So everything after this was just a win for me. Uh, as you'll see later down in the video, I did do a 202. So I'm really stoked with how the car um, handled that day and how I was able to get down to a 202. So enjoy the rest of the lap. second session out based on a recommendation from my buddy Frankie he told me to remove the sway bar the rear sway bar that is completely well 
moved the end link so the bar is not moving using it so it says the car should handle a little bit better i'm getting a lot of like mid corner and entry i'm getting a lot of like twitchiness so he said this should help me out so i've never ran no rear sway bar on an nc i have in a uh, an na in my last na but uh not in the nc so this should be interesting After the first two sessions, I'm sitting at a 202, which I'm absolutely stoked on. I wasn't uh, expecting to get a, anything better than a 205. As you can see, I have a rear wing on the car now. My buddy Frankie, his car's down for the moment, so he let me use this wing. Just swapped uh, trunks. It is a race bred wing. So hopefully these will be really soon for the NCs, but he's been uh, using them. Um, really likes them, it really uh, changes the car. So hopefully uh, I'll notice some differences. I should go a lot quicker. Hopefully, maybe I'll get to a two. Nope. But yeah, no issues with the car at all. Running phenomenally. Suspensions uh, slowly and slowly. I get it dialed in more and more every time I go to the track. This car's just rad. I love this car, everything about it, the power. I mean, don't don't get me wrong, it's not the fastest thing in the world, but it's it keeps up with these SUKs out here. And that's kind of what I really wanted, so.
after this last session, my third session, uh, did a 203 and like a high 202. So definitely a huge difference with the wing. Uh, it's kind of hard to explain, but it's there's just a lot more grip everywhere. But mentally, I was already used to the car breaking uh, traction in the rear, so getting a little bit of oversteer. So I was already going too slow into the corner. So, but straightaway speed, I don't seem like I went any slower. I didn't lose a lot of top end, but uh, just everywhere else in, in each corner, it was definitely going quicker. So, but I'm uh, pretty much done for today. Um, Frankie broke his front splitter, so I'm going to uh, lend him some of the parts off of mine since we essentially have the same setup. Uh, he has a semi-competition day tomorrow, so I'm going to help him out and give him some of the parts. I'm going to give him back his wing. Um, but yeah, all in all, the car did phenomenally. No issues. At the very end of session three, I was getting a little bit of a hesitation, a little bit of like, I don't know, maybe spark blood or something. I don't know. It just felt kind of, sounded kind of weird. <laughs> Check the codes on the Ecutech and it was a P0300, so just a random misfire. So I'll try to figure out what that was, but it's we're driving good now. It's idling fine, no issues, no hesitation right now. That is it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Leave a like, leave a comment, subscribe if you are new, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.